It is the troubled years before the Great Rebellion of 1798. All of Ireland is in the grip of a reign of terror. In Ulster, the United Irishmen, formed largely by Northern Presbyterians and led by Henry Joy McCracken, meet in secret places under peril of death to hear news of their fellow rebels in the South. The most dangerous task of go-between carrying secret plans north and south past sleepy villages and dark hedgerows falls to another United Irishman, Thomas Russell. Travelling alone, never knowing who to trust and living in constant fear of discovery, his is one of the bravest tales of all. In our town land on a night of snow rode a man from God knows where. None of us bade him stay nor go nor deemed him friend nor damned him foe, but we stabled his big roan there. For in our town land were a decent folk, and if he didn't speak well, none of us spoke, but we sat till the fire burned low. We're a civil sort in our wee place, so we made the circle wide round Andy Lemon's cheerful blaze. And we wished the man his length of days and a good end to his ride. <laughs> he smiled and under a slouchy hat and says he, There's a bit of a joke in that, for we ride different ways. And while we smoked we watched him stare from his seat in the fire glow. I nudged Joe Moore, you wouldn't dare to ask him who he's for meeting there or how far he's got to go. Ha <laughs> but Joe wouldn't dare, nor will he Scott. And he took no drink, neither cold nor hot, this man from God knows where. It was closing time and late for by when us ones braved the air, and I never saw worse me I live or die than the sleep that night. And I says, says I, you'll find he's for stopping there. But at scrag a day through the gable pane, I watched him spur through the pelting rain, and I juked from his roving eye. It was getting on past the heat of the year when I rode to Newton Fair. I sold as I could, but ach, the dealers were near, only three pounds eight for the any steer, and nothing at all for the mare. But I met McKee in the throng of the street. Says he, the grass has grown under our feet since they hanged young Warwick here. And he told me that France had promised help to a man in Dublin town. And says he, if you've left that pike on the shelf, you'd better get home hot foot by yourself and once more take it down. So by Comber Road I trotted the grey, and I never cut corn till Kelly Lay stood high on the rising ground. For a wane of days we kept waiting the word to rise and go at it like men. But no French ship sailed in the Clochy Bay. And we heard the black news on a harvest day that the cause was lost again. And Joey and me and Willie Scott, we agreed with ourselves we'd as leaf and not have been found in the thick of the slain. Right on Patrick Jail I was bound to fare on a day I'll remember that. When I got to the prison square, the people were waiting in hundreds there. And you wouldn't hear stir or breath. And the soldiers were standing grim and tall round a scaffold built there for an inch the wall. And a man stepped out for death. I was brave and near the edge of the throng, but I knew the face again. And I knew the set and I knew the walk and the sound of his strange up-country talk. For he spoke out right down plain. Then he bowed his head to the swinging rope. When I said, please God, to his dying hope. And amen to his dying prayer that the wrong would cease and the right prevail. For the man they hanged at Down Patrick Jail was the man from God knows where. <laughs> 